Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you a script that resolves a challenge we all have been through when we wanted to switch to Arch. Let me explain. You don't want to use any uh, Arch based type of ISO like Garuda or even Endeavor OS. What you would like to have is a pure Arch and you would like to like, kind of build it on your own. And the main challenge you're going to have to go through is the fact that you don't really know what are the name of the packages. You, you don't really know where to start from. Well, guess what? I got a solution for you. Let's get into it. As always, let's start with a little bit of context. When I did my switch from Windows to Linux, the first distro I already loved and I understood it would be like the distro I'm going to be ready, like getting into was Arch. I tried numerous ones before. I won't go through the whole historic here, but Arch was the one I really liked for a simple reason. It was modulable enough for me to take advantage of my hardware and get the best performance on my computer. The issue is that if you want to switch to pure Arch right away, it's a little bit complicated. I'm not saying it's impossible, but I'm guessing like you need to have a lot of time and I would say determination and motivation to get into the arch world, like the pure arch world. So one of the shortcuts I used was using Endeavor OS. And man, I still love this distro, don't get me wrong, because it kind of like gave me the tool and put me into like the world of art without a lot of effort. However, nowadays I'm really thinking about going back to something like more arch, like pure core, I would say, and uh, build my own like operating system from the get go, because I have a better understanding of what I need and what I don't need. The tool I'm going to show you today is called Architect. And what it really does, it gives you a soft launch to configure your own like Arch distro. And I really love this script, not only because one of my buddy, uh, Cardiac, made it, but also because I think it's a really good like script that's going to help you to learn how to really like become, I would say like um, resourceful, and learn Arch as it is. Because when you install an Arch-based ISO, you could enjoy it, and there is nothing wrong against that, but you are not really going deep into what packages you need and why you install them, and et cetera, et cetera. This is gonna give you more like a tutorial, like learning aspect about what you actually need for your usage. So this script, the way it's designed is that you need a pure Arch. So you can't install it on any Arch-based distro like Endeavor OS or Garuda, for example, because on paper they don't need it. But you're going to use it on a fresh install of Arch. And what it's going to do is going to go through all the installation with a lot of little like question and um, asking you whatever you need. And you're going to go through the script and you're going to see what is actually going to be installed depending on what you need. And it's super like respecting of the philosophy of Arch, which is uh, KISS, K-I-S-S, -S, keep it simple, stupid. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to install this script and I'm going to show you how cool it is. So the first thing you really need to have is a fresh Arch install. The idea is that you install Arch, then you go on this GitHub repository, you copy and paste this line and you just go through all the options, like you have nothing to do. So I'm going to copy the link here. I'm going to paste it in my terminal. So as you can see, we are using Arch, obviously, on hard. No VM or anything here, like it's hard, hardcore. And I'm going to paste the line there. And I'm going to press Enter. Type your password. So just for you to understand what this line really does, it installs like git, uh, base, devel, like package, packages, and then it clones uh, the GitHub from Architect. Then it goes into the repository and launch the install of the script here. So we're going to do that. 
it's always interesting and I would say like important to understand what you are doing when you type any type of command in your terminal. So here we are. I look pretty good. Uh, script architect for Arch Linux. This script will make changes to your system. Some step may take longer depending on your internet connection and CPU. Press enter to continue. Control C to cancel. So I want to continue. System preparation. Pacman configuration, enabling color in Pacman, enabling verbose packages in Pacman, enabling parallel download, multi lib repository, and multi threaded compilation. Now, AUR helper installation, installing Git. Which AUR helper do you want to install? Ye or Paru? So here you have a choice. They are basically the same, but I like Paru better, so we're going to go with Paru. And it's going to install it. So you get the idea. This script is going to tell you exactly what it's doing and you're going to go through it. So to me, it's kind of like a tutorial in real time because it's going to tell you exactly what it's doing. So for example, the next step here is like mirror list configuration using reflector updating mirror list. If you want to get deeper into it, what you can do is go on the GitHub and look at the line of code related to any of those guideline here and you will learn exactly what is happening so here is updating the mirror list making sure the full system is up to date uh, then it's installing the uh, kernel header so linux then header there then it's setting the map count configuration so this is really important for uh, video gaming because uh, we notice that certain game like daisy or for example, like Hogwarts Legacy uh, wouldn't work properly without setting this variable up. So it's done. Then it's doing a clean, like sound server configuration, removing everything related to Pulse Audio and going like hardcore full pipe wire. So don't be worried, you still have access to Pulse Audio through pipe wire Pulse, but it's just to make sure that you won't have any conflict towards installation. Uh, then it's going to check the system loader configuration, analyzing what type of system loader you have. So here I, I install Grub, and it's going to create some special hook. You can see exactly what it's doing, but I won't go too deep into that. Uh, then it's going to go with uh, all the useful packages installation you're going to need if you are playing video game or creating content, and those ones are super important. So. Uh, all the GStreamer one, uh, the libvia Misa driver here, um, the downgrade uh, packages, you're going to be certainly required at a certain time because you are running a, a rolling uh, distro here. Uh, NeoFetch, all those nice stuff, um, but not also being like too heavy. For example, like you notice, like I have BTRFS installed there. So it's going to install like BTRFS dash prog and BTRFS assistant, which are like super used tool for this type of file system. Now it's going to ask me a shell configuration. What is your default shell, bash or fish? So I, I like fish. So I'm going to tap fish here. Obviously, like when he's asking you a question like that, you need to choose between fish or bash and you need to type it. Press enter. You chose fish. Boom. Changement du shell par défaut en fish. All right. So now we're speaking French. Huh? Okay. 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 I like it. So something I'm going to help with the script. So what you need to understand is like this script is always evolving. And what Cardiac and his team really need right now is contribution. So for example, here, like for whatever reason, you start to speak in French here, you can go on GitHub and contribute and say, hey, this is not what I was expecting because I'm English and I would like just English here. And you can do a pull request, modify it yourself, send it to the package maintainer there, Cardiac in this case, and it's going to check it and update the script. This script was created, I think, like three months ago or two months ago, and I've been following it almost like every week. And I'm telling you, it has been evolving like crazy like really like crazy. And I'm pretty sure like six months from now, it's going to be even more different than what it is right now. 
So here is going to ask you what are the video driver you have? What is your graphic card? So I have an Nvidia. So I'm going to tap Nvidia. Enter. You choose Nvidia. Yeah, that's right. So what it's going to do here is going to make a clean install, removing all the different packages which could cause any type of issue and it's gonna reinstall everything so do you want to use nvidia also i'm gonna press no here because it's gonna be the subject of another video but i will suggest like if you are a confirmed user to press yes here but i'm gonna press no for the sake of this video and then what it's gonna do is gonna set up the installation but in a really proper way so it's going to make sure that all the required packages are installed and it's going to also like add some uh, special options there activated the nvidia uh, dash drm mod set you could do that by going through the arch wiki or you could do that interactively with the script and if you want to go deeper just go inside the script and look at what the script is actually going. So I know I'm repeating myself there, but you get the idea. So we're going to let install those packages. Do you have an Intel slash NVIDIA laptop? No, I don't. Do you want to install CUDA? So no, I don't, I don't need that. Obviously, if you need it, you just type yes here. But I don't. And now we're going to move to the more like gaming like type of approach. Uh, gamepad configuration. Would you like to install Xpad Neo? No. So I'm not using this because I don't have Xbox Gamepad here. Do you want to use a PS5 controller? No. Do you want to use a printer? Uh, I would say yes on this one because I have a printer. Do you want to use an Epson printer? No. Do you want to use HP printer? No. And then it's going to make the configuration for me which is pretty sweet. So I'm still going to have to install my personal printer, but I'm going to have all the packages to make it work out of the bat. And this is, I think, the main issue related to Arch because you don't know what packages you need at the beginning when you start. And again, this is more like a soft launch for you to kind of learn what you need. Do you want to use Bluetooth? Yes, sir. Environment configuration, desktop environment detection. What is your desktop environment? I'm using KDE, sir. Enter. Then it's going to make sure that all the different packages related to KDE are there. And also like applying all the different uh, little patch required uh, for some of those packages which need your attention and you to go to the Arch Wiki. It's going to do that behind the scene flatpak support installation i like it so now it's installing and configuring flatpak for you and this is a trick now it's gonna tell you like which browser software you want to install so here i'm gonna say firefox because that's what i love desktop software so what do we need uh we need audacity for sure so if i want to install what do i do oh it's a space so one, uh, Visual Call Studio, no. LibreOffice, yes. Uh, Arch Update, which is a, a pretty nice uh, software there made by one of members of the, of the community I'm in. And also, um, if I'm, I'm not saying that wrong, a maintainer of Arch, it's part of the Arch team, which is also a contributor for this script. So it's not like a small script. It's, it's actually a really nice script, as you can see. Uh, we're going to go with uh, Spotify. Why not? Um, and I would like to go with Discord and open RGB. Okay. Enter. Uh, what packages do you like to install for the video software? We're going to go... So, that's the trick. Here, I can install like DaVinci uh, Resolve Studio. I can install all of them, but I won't because I know it's going to take a lot of time, but you could do it. I'm going to go with OBS and NPV, okay? Okay, enter. Uh, image software, I'm going to choose uh, GIMP and Inkscape. I really like Inkscape. I don't need Krita and Blender, even if they're super powerful. And now, the packages related to gaming. So you have Steam, yes. Go Overly, I don't need it. Uh, game Mode, I love it. Proton Up QT, really nice one. 
Uh, heroic Game Launcher. Uh, no, I don't need this one. Prism Launcher for Minecraft. Okay. And Lutris, of course. That's my jam. Enter. So obviously, you can choose whatever you want, right? And now it's going to ask you what the Flatpak software you want to install. If you have something really specific you want to install for Flatpak. And I like the selection they went through there. Uh, I would go with. Um, mm, just for the sake of it, I'm, I'm going to go with Telegram. Okay. Again, your call there. You can also install Telegram from any other source, but I'm going to go with Flatpak uh, just, just to show you. And then we're going to press Enter. And here we go. It's going to make the installation for you. So now you just sit down and relax. And um, I might have to accelerate the video a little bit or go for uh, the end of the install here. A few moments later. All right, we are done. So it took us 936 seconds to install all of this, knowing that we have been like exchanging because I wanted to explain all the different options. I'm pretty sure you can do it in less than, I don't know, like four minutes, depending on the hardware you have and how fast you go through the option. What it's going to ask you there is like, do you want to upload the log file to a past bin? And here I'm going to answer no. But let's say you have a problem during the install and something bug, you can press yes, and then you can upload your past bin to the GitHub to contribute and help the script getting better, which is pretty cool that they, they put that within the script. Script completed successfully, the system must restart. Press enter to restart. So I'm going to press enter and I'm going to come back after the reboot. 12 seconds later. All right, so we are back. I'm going to check here. Here we go. So you can see I'm using fish. I can see right away that I'm not in bash anymore. I'm going to check my graphic card. It should be all right. Graphic card is functioning. Everything is here. I should have all the application now. So uh, let's see if he installed me NVIDIA settings. Oh, yes. Everything is working so fast. It's so smooth. So you have, you have, this is a trick. You have the pure Arch experience without having to, uh, you know, losing your mind or really struggling. And this is what I like. Like if you are a beginner or a medium type of user, I say medium, but you know, you are intermediate. That's the, that's the right word. You are intermediate. You are just between like a uh, beginner and really like proficient, high skilled Arch user. Well, you, you might want to get there. I've only been, you know, in Linux for uh, 20 years now on the server side and on the desktop side, I would say like two and a half, three years. I still qualify myself as an intermediate like type of user. I, I'm still learning a lot. Uh, I would say like on, on a daily basis. But I would say that even if I can install Arch by hand and do through all the configuration of packages on my own, I like the fact that this script do everything behind the hood and I, I dude, I love that this is so so good and that's why I wanted to share it with you guys so I want to double check if he did install discord so discord is on everything is there guys uh, even telegram I'm sure yeah telegram is on we can launch it for science but you see it's there everything works boom so now everything is installed everything works I just want to show you some useful aliases they put within the script, which are now available. So if I go in my terminal and I type update arch, tap my password there, it's going to do all the heavy lifting for me again. And you see there is uh, an update of uh, Telegram. So I'm going to press yes. And it's going to install it. Boom, like that. Uh, you have clean arch, which removes the use unused packages, uh, fix key, which you're going to see, you're going to have to use a lot, solve key related issue for update. It can happen if you don't update your arch a lot of time. And then the last one is update mirror, which refreshes your system mirror list. So you have all those uh, nice aliases already pre-installed. So of course, after you can add the one you like and customize it on your own. But again, it's just a soft launch for me. It's really giving you all the nice tool and uh, nice packages 
and configuration, you need to start an Arch operating system without any hassle. So before we go to the conclusion, I want to make sure that all the acknowledgement and all the different sources are going to be shared in this video. So uh, here in the GitHub page, wiki page, you're going to find the ArchWiki, uh, the website of Gaming Linux France, the Discord of Gaming Linux France, and the YouTube channel of uh, the gentleman who uh, started this project, Cardiac. Uh, then you're going to have a lot of acknowledgement there. Obviously, Arch Linux for their amazing work. Arch Linux community, obviously, uh, for the documentation and everything related to the AUR, the maintainer, the hard work they have put there. Also, uh, special delivery and mention to TKG from the Frogging family and um, all the team from OpenRGB. I think their packages are obviously included in there, but it's... You know, how, how can you use your computer if you don't have RGB in it, and especially for gaming? Also, a big thanks to the uh, Gaming Linux France Discord. You're going to have the link here. It's twice. And also, the last but not the least, his name is L'Infiltré, but on the GitHub, that's his name, WMCPY. Sorry if I butchered the pronunciation, buddy. But I had a discussion with Cardiac, and he told me this dude made most of the work. I would say like 85% of the coding. So uh, big up to this dude because he did an amazing work. Have you seen like how smooth uh, the installation was? So I needed to mention this gentleman here. I've been contributing too, but it's like nothing and I don't deserve anything. With this guy here, big up. And you're also all those contributors. I, I don't know exactly what they have done, but big up to them too. So you got the idea. This script is just awesome. I know this video is going to be a little bit longer, but I think it's really like one approach you could have if you want to jump in the world of Arch and have a, a really nice and smooth, again, I would call it a smooth launch in this world. Obviously, moving forward, you're going to still have to learn about Arch. You're going to have to go there but it gives you a base which is solid enough for you uh, to enjoy the experience, but also um, learn. Because at the end of the day, when you use this type of distro, you're going to have to learn. And this is what makes it fun, in my opinion, outside the fact that it's outperforming all the other ones. <laughs> Didn't see that coming. Yeah? Okay, this is my art, by the way, approach. It's not really true, but I like to pick it is, okay? Uh, guys, thank you very much for watching. Again, thanks for all the supporters of this channel. If you like uh, this video, please give a thumb up. Uh, don't forget to put the little like notification bell here. It will really help. Also, I want to thank all the financial contributors to this channel, the YouTube members, the Patreon member. Guys, thank you very much. Um, and also, like, please just give me your feedback towards this script. Try it. Tell me what you think. If you encounter any problem, I, I would love to see uh, your experience in the comment below. And also, uh, don't hesitate to contribute because this is just the beginning of the script and I have the feeling it's going to go really, really far. Guys, thank you again for watching. See you in the next one. Bisous, bisous.